All right, welcome to another episode of Lifestyles. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. We put a great one together for you with all of our beautiful co-hosts. We're going all over America's finest city, from the coastal scene to the social scene, and we're going to dive into the real estate market here as well. Let's go ahead and get another episode of Lifestyles started right now. to East County today to check out this incredible new luxury listing. And standing in the entryway, I can only imagine what's on the inside. So I'm gonna go in and talk to Lyle and Grace and find out more about this beautiful home. Lyle and Grace, thank you so much for inviting me out to this incredible property today. This is gorgeous. I'm like in awe as we were walking around checking the house out. This is unreal. Husband and wife team. Yes. How many years? 23 years. We just had our 23rd anniversary. So. And you're still smiling. Yeah. <laughs> and we've been working together ever and since. And we work day and really? night. Day and night together. Yeah. Kids are happy. Like you, this is this wonderful. You guys are really known and very well respected in this area. I know that you specialize in a lot of referral business, a lot of the luxury listings like this one, but you're not just a luxury listing expert either, are you? Correct. Correct. You know, we work all different levels. You know, it starts with that first home that someone buys and then you get people up to this level. You know, it's kind of nice to start with people when they buy their first home and then here they get into their fourth and fifth home in their life and still be there for their real as their realtor. Right. You know, it's kind of cool. So, you know, it's not just the beginning. We're there all the way to the end. And when somebody gets something like this, you know, I think they've accomplished their dreams. And I know you love this area. This is, love it. I, I can tell you guys are very passionate about the area. Not everybody comes out here to really know more about Rancho San Diego. Tell me about this community and why it's so special and, and why people should come out here and check out even the luxury listings and the luxury lifestyle you guys have. Wow, that's, it's pretty easy because for me, you know, I've been out here 50 years here in East County and brought my wife out 25 years ago, almost I 25 years. I wasn't years. from Rancho San Diego. She wasn't from Rancho San Diego. She was from Chula Vista. And you know, what's so nice to, to have out here is just, you know, every day we wake up to sunshine out here in East County. We got, we're 25 minutes to the airport. We got great restaurants all the way around us. And we get space out here. People get a little land with their beautiful homes out here at every level. Whether you're a first time buyer or you're buying an ultimate luxury estate like the one we're here in, in at 2215 Springtime Lane here in East County. Right. Yeah. And, so, and, and if you want to go to the beach, it's still not that far, right? Oh, you no. can throw your paddle boards in and still make it in you what, got it. 20 minutes? 20, 25 minutes. No traffic either. You know, our traffic out here is not bad. I mean, I, I love it. I go to North County, I'm like in a traffic for an hour or two. <laughs> you know, when I'm here in East County, we really don't have that kind of traffic. It's just all the way around a great family community, just a great place to live. Good schools out here. It. I love the school system out here. We have the wonderful Christian schools all the way to, you know, all of our public schools out here. We have all different for all different kinds. That's wonderful. I know you guys really specialize, and like I said, I, I know you're known in this area. Your reputation is definitely out there. But technically, she's the boss, right? She's my boss. I am his boss. <laughs> she is the broker of record. <laughs> I am, I am. So you guys work together, but you're really the one keeping everything in line, she's right? She's the whip. Right. I manage the office, but really what I love to do is be with Lyle and showing all these homes and getting to meet all the people and just, we feel it's such a blessing just to have an opportunity to represent some of these sellers. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. Back to luxury listings. So I know that you guys meet the needs of so many diverse buyers and sellers, but you really do have a knack and you know a lot of the high-end properties and areas and sure. you know the homes and, and what they're getting out here for their money versus maybe some of the other areas. Tell me the comparison if we're looking here or if somebody was looking in Del Mar at the same time. Well, I mean, the comparison's very, very different. I mean, you're gonna get the people are looking to Del Mar for the coastal life, you know? And that's a great, a great thing. Some people enjoy that. Other people wanna have privacy and they wanna have some space, you know? They want a half acre lot or a one acre lot or maybe even a ranch. We have them all out here. I mean, we have it for all types out here. Unlike other areas of, of San Diego, we got a great entry level, 
you know, for entry level people buying in our markets, all the way to the people that are into the super luxury, as I said before. Well, you clearly picked this house for a reason, and mm -hmm. you gave me a wonderful tour. Walking through, I'm like, wow, oh, I could use that. I could use that. We could really. <laughs> so I want our viewers, because we're not, you know, walking through right now, can you give me some descriptions of some of the special things that are in this house. Wow, you know, <laughs> there's so much to say, and, and I know I don't have enough time to say it all, because this home is a very special home. I mean, this home was built back in 2007, 2008 completed. You got a 7,000 plus square foot one level. Oh, I must say there's one room upstairs, and that happens to be an amazing library. Right. I mean, there is so much going on with this home from a very fine luxury pool out here with water slides and, and waterfalls off of it to beautiful windows. The windows in this home are all Anderson dual glazed, wood clad pullouts, which are like wow. some of the best windows you can put in a home. But the you doors. know, the doors. The doors. Oh, the doors and the <laughs> cabinetry in this home, and that's two different things, but they're both all in the same. The cabinets in this home, if you, you guys out there that know anything about cabinetry, which I happen to know a little bit, Walnut cabinets are the very finest cabinetry you can put in a home. Anything walnut. Well, these aren't just walnut. These are solid walnut. They're not veneers. This guy put, so, this family put such attention to detail into this home. I mean, just in the kitchen, the, the wood cabinets you see in here, over $300,000, just of amazing cabinetry. And the doors, the walnut, solid walnut doors, these are three inches thick. Heck, you're looking at a front door here that's close to $50,000 just for a door. I mean, this home, he did so much. From the, the details the are details. incredible. Even, how many air conditionings? Wow, you got six <laughs> air conditioning systems. Oh, and then on top of that, you definitely want to make sure you have electric for the whole home. I'll tell you, he has a solar system on this that I've never seen in any other home. Mm -hmm. 108 panels that are on this particular house. Mm -hmm. 108 pa panels for solar. Then you got six plus fireplaces, six air conditioning systems. I mean, there's just so much the detail to this. Oh. That has some incredible features in oh there. Oh my gosh. The shower is the size of maybe some other bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> With all the bells and whistles inside that shower right? too. Right? It's pretty amazing And I as saw well. a sauna in there. Yeah, there's a sauna in there and just a great, great uh, master closet. I mean, the ladies are gonna love this closet. Again, solid walnut cabinetry. There's two kitchens in this home. One for your, if you're gonna do you know, some catering event, you have an event here at your home, you have that availability. Oh, and then for us car guys, which I'm a car guy, right Grace? <laughs> I mean, definitely. We, definitely, I mean, nine car garage in this home. Wow. I mean, how many places can you go in East County that you have not only a nine car garage, but you got, a, you got two driveways, one big circular one, and then on the back for your six car garage in the back, that's attached to the home. How often does people get that in life? I mean, it, it's so awesome to see that there's people out there like this that have been able to be so blessed to be able to do something like this. And for right. Grace and I to be able to share this with, with the community is just amazing. The details were the exquisite. Details. It's got, oh. it's definitely a relaxing atmosphere. It has a beautiful fountain in the middle. Yeah. The angles are perfect. You've got the hole downstairs that leads out to the entertainment area yeah. and the patio and the pool outside and the barbecue. Yeah. It's secluded, there's privacy. Absolutely, had no idea, I didn't either, that we had this much out here. This was really a treat getting to see it today. Thank you to both of you. Congrats Thank on you all your success. Thank, Thank you. you for being out here with us today. Thank this you. was really awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. I had such a great time today talking with Lyle and Grace and hearing about Rancho San Diego. I didn't realize how incredible it is out here and the luxury listings that they have, especially this one. Getting to tour this property was outstanding. You really want to check this one out. certain times in life when you need a neutral third party to call the shots. Keep it fair. Choose Oakwood Escrow. Hi, I'm Megan.
Megan Tower, and today I am in Point Loma with superstar realtor Katrina Russell at one of her premier listings that's been featured in Coastal Living Magazine. And after one look, I can see why. We are just steps away from breathtaking coastline, and I hear there's a spectacular view upstairs. So let's head on up. up with you and reconnect Katrina because we actually go way back. Yeah. I worked with your son Elijah when he was about seven, right? Yeah, I think he was um, he was in second grade. Oh my gosh, how old is he now? He's in ninth. Ninth yeah. grade. And he goes to school here in Point Loma? He goes to Point Loma High. Wow. That's what I love about you because you actually live and breathe this community. You've raised your family here and would you agree that if there's anybody to tell a buyer what it's like to live in Point Loma, you're the lady. Well, I like to think I am. Um, everybody has their own things because we have a lot to do in Point Loma, really. Um, but I love it here. I've been here since I was 23 and I'm, you know, barely over 23 now. But um, I've been here for about 25 years and I love it. And I left for Ocean Beach, Point Loma area for six months and I couldn't stand it and I moved right back. Yeah, it's funny because I actually moved here from the East Coast around that same age and I saw Sunset Cliffs and I fell in love and I wanted to move to the most beautiful place that I had really ever seen in the world. And uh, what are the trends though? Because I know there's a lot of young people here, but what type of people are moving in this community? Well, we're actually a very mixed community. Um, we are a community that's transitioning um, from a lot of older homeowners to uh, younger families raising their kids, but um, we have such a diverse variety of real estate here. We have condos starting at 300,000 up to houses that are 10, 11 million. So it's really all kinds of people live here and that's what makes it great. Yes, and there's been so many changes since I've lived over in this neighborhood. So tell oh, me yeah. some of the new developments. Well, this house is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. um, very uh, some more contemporary architecture coming in um, there is a lot of work in the community to keep the eclectic flavor that we've developed here um, and we've got everything from beach cottages to something that's very sophisticated and elegant like this house that we're standing in today absolutely but it seems so comfortable as well oh. you can definitely raise a family in this home oh yeah tell me some more of the features that you absolutely love about this home um, this home was recently featured in san diego coastal homes magazine earlier this year because of its unique architecture um, we have a lot of very sophisticated designs here, no expense spared. Um, the In the front, the atrium ceilings with the fins around the windows mm. that nobody knows what to call them, they're <laughs> fins. Um, they are actually designed as a heat reducing element in the home, even though there's air conditioning, you don't need to use it much. Eco-friendly. It's eco-friendly, um, it's just well thought out. Mm -hmm. um, the spaces are comfortable, they're generous, every space has a view and it's clean, very clean lines. Yeah, and I love that in every room you can see this spectacular view. And we've got the Ocean Beach Pier behind us and the windows, there's no corners and you just have wide open. Right, beautiful views up the coastline with white water and also very relaxing views to the south to the cliffs. So it's fan best of Southern California. Incredible. One of the things that still you know sticks in my mind is that you have such creative marketing. Still when I drive into Ocean Beach <laughs> I see your billboards and one of the old billboards that resonates with me today is you had your team running on the beach. You guys <laughs> had uh, these clown lips Lips, right uh -huh. and the tagline said no lip service yeah what did that mean well um, it was actually a very controversial <laughs> billboard I didn't mean for it to be but um, I think that you know the real estate industry uh, there unfortunately are people in this industry that are not uh, taking good care of people mm -hmm. and I feel like uh, lip service is when you're saying something and you don't mean it sure um, I pride myself on really giving great service and being honest with people and being very approachable and easy to work with. Right. So that's lip service to me. That authenticity. Yeah. 
Wow. So, and I thought that was a fun billboard. I thought it was hilarious. Well, like I said, <laughs> it still stands out in my mind today. So that's the point of advertising, right? right? And it gets people to remember your name and remember to call you, especially when they see a house like this on the right. market, because I don't know who would not want to live in this home. Yeah, this is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So I know we've already talked about this amazing home, but let's expand upon a little bit more about the design of the home, because this is a new build, correct? It was built in 2013, which is very new for Point Loma. Mm -hmm. um, just a lot of thought went into the construction and the design elements of this home. Um, extremely, it's contemporary yet warm. Um, it has some really cutting ed fe edge features, which are things that we can't even see, like the type of roofing and insulation. There's an elevator. Um, you know, it's no expense spared. The highest quality of materials used, and really a lot of thought went into the placement of windows. And um, if you'll see when you look around the house, the windows that come together at the corner where you don't you see all view. Mm -hmm. Just things like that, the special touches. Even the exterior stands out on this street. Oh yeah, it's very different from the other homes on this block. Yeah, um, I think this house kind of. Um, was sort of the forefront of the changing trends in the neighborhood. Okay. Um, if you look around the neighborhood now, there are a lot more new construction projects going on. Um, we don't want a bunch of McMansions here, mm -hmm. really, but we do, um, you know, this is a neighborhood that is definitely gentrifying and becoming nicer, and there are beautiful homes going in. So it's definitely on its way up. Absolutely. And so other than meditating and coming down here and clearing your mind, what is there to do in the Sunset Cliffs area? A lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, surfing, hiking. You can hike all the way down the cliffs to the end of Point Loma and swim in the ocean. And um, But you're really in walking distance to a lot of things here. You're in walking distance to restaurants and um, we're just over the hill from the yacht clubs and Shelter Island and right. marinas and harbors. Mm -hmm. I mean, we really have it all. Exactly. Best of both worlds yeah. on either side. Yeah. I love this area and I'm so glad that you brought me back here to my former home <laughs> and hopefully my future home, right? Yes. So, thank you, Katrina. You know who to call. Exactly. <laughs> I will see you soon. I'm glad Katrina brought me here because I am in the perfect spot for a California sunset. But on a day like today, I'm thinking I want to get closer to the ocean, so I'm going to take a quick stroll down to Sunset Cliff. As a real estate professional, there are only so many hours of the day which means efficiency is more than a buzzword. It's a daily necessity. Two tools from First American Title can help you keep on top of your transactions, either at your desktop or on the go. My First Stand puts comprehensive property data at your fingertips, where you can review recorded documents, past transactions, or locate comparable sales quickly and easily. Cost First can also ensure you have 24-7 access to closing cost data allowing you to generate net sheets, calculate fees, update documents, or email, print, or save your reports, along with TRID calculation and consummation date timeframes. Each sale includes a number of stages to manage, each with the possibility to delay a closing or derail it altogether. Let Cost First and My First Dam keep your transactions on track. Contact your local First American representative to get started today. Okay, I have a riddle for you. So what does bowling and real estate have in common? Well, if it's anything to do with our next guests, everything's always a strike. We're here with Kara Kay, one of the top producing real estate agents at Cantor Brokerage. Kara, thank you so much for inviting me to this fun and incredible place. You are so welcome, Tony. You have a very special guest. I should say we're her guests. 
You want to introduce me? Absolutely. <laughs> we are lucky enough to have Robin Spencer, the director of sales for Tavern and Bolt. So I'll let her take it away. Go Tavern. Welcome, ladies, so Thank much. You. Right? We're sitting here inside of our East Lake location. We're super excited about all the developments and things that have been happening here in East Lake, and we're really truly growing to match the lifestyle of everyone that lives here. All of your people you bring in, really? and you too, right? Absolutely. So you brought me here. Like she was saying, there's so much development going on in Chula Vista, and East Lake Tavern and Bowl was one of the first, I believe, of this style to have this kind of restaurant, bowling, and actually something fun to do. Absolutely. Completely. I love the fact that it used to be the design center for all of the developments and all of the new homes that are here. And then Robin can touch on it more, but they kind of looked at each other and once all of the homes were completed, they're like, what do we do with this awesome space? Yeah. We're super close to all of the residents. How can we make it so that they can benefit from it, the families love it? something just fun to do. Yeah, absolutely. So we uh, decided to come up here as our second location. We bring with us a scratch kitchen, of course, 10 great lanes, and a bar that is to die for. Right. Who you doesn't guys like find the that bar? Out later, right? <laughs> exactly. And what we found as we've come and grown is it was super quiet in the beginning. So we went out and really got into the community and joined with the high school. And, you know, we do like Friday night lights things where they come up afterwards and they celebrate, they get as many people as they can. You know, we kick back some money to the teams and we have a bunch of fun here. How cool. Right. I feel like you guys do such a good job of knowing what the community needs, listening exactly. to it, and then ebbing and flowing and really diversifying what you guys do so that you can cater to what the people around here need. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with our scratch kitchen and the fact that our general manager also used to be a chef, we make fun things like who thinks about bowling but coming for a homemade cup of miso soup, yeah. right? You would it's never amazing. think pork that. belly. Yeah. Like who has that? But we have that. We Don't have that, right? That's absolutely. what the chef was saying that every week they they try to do something completely different. So they're gonna have a week where it's all Asian food and they just had barbecue. Yeah, and it was so great. And then we do fun things like the third Wednesday of each month, you can come on down and do whiskey tasting with cigar matching. Oh, fun. We match different pints what? of um, beer with some of our flatbreads that we make. And what we do is we work with our customers, right? What do you want to drink? Have you tried this beer? You haven't? Let's get it in house. We put a pairing together oh, cool. and every week we have somebody different to come up here and talk about the beer and we talk about our food and we just really have a great time time, especially Friday and Saturday nights, we are the spot to be. Oh my we get goodness. a DJ going Heard here, that. right? So after yeah. 10 o'clock, it's rocking up at this place. I we ask the hours and it's during the week a little bit earlier, but then oh, during the weekend you're open until 1 a.m. So it's that yeah. hot spot in the area to yeah. come, hang out, chill out. And, and then after hours. I know Kara okay. is a huge football fan. I am. So that's probably the reason why you're coming here every yes. Sunday. <laughs> we but can't actually go to the game. We come to East Lake Tavern and Bowl and there are, you guys said, like just about 30 TVs around. There yes. definitely, every angle has a game on it. We'll watch it. If we're not watching your game, we'll get it. You can even come on Saturday for college games, oh, right? Nice. We have that too. We've got NFL tickets, so feel comfortable coming here anytime. We got it all for you. Whoever's your team, you can come in here and request them. <laughs> that's so right. either way, we we won't judge you for whatever team you're rooting for. Oh, you, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, maybe a little, a little <laughs> judge. Just a little. <laughs> just a little, just a little. So it's definitely safe to say that East Lake Tavern Bowl is so much more. I mean, I'm used to, my grandma used to take me to the bowling alley and it was like, wah, wah, a bowling alley. <laughs> you know, you see 20 lanes or so and it's very, go get your nachos, come back. This is completely This is different. taking it to the next level. Yeah. It's bowling and so much more, and you would never know until you came in Absolutely. or met with Robin Absolutely. and figured out, yeah, all that it offers, which is kind of like Chula Vista in general, and the fact that if you're living in another part of San Diego or if you're not from another part of the world, you don't really know all that Chula Vista has offers because it's done so much development mm -hmm. throughout the years. You have the East Lake Village Town Center and they label that as the one-stop shop for everything you could possibly need. They have stores beyond above, stores, restaurants, everything you could think of. And then you have, I mean, a lot of people don't even know the Olympic Training Center. I had no corner. idea until yeah, I saw it just a few that? days ago, actually. So yeah. you can see the Olympians training even at the local parks. Mountain Hawk Park is right around the corner from there. So the Olympians so cool. are using the trails. Um, Salt Lake Creek Community Park is right around there too. And we're The seeing... amphitheater? Yeah. yeah. Which you're very familiar with that because I heard that the Jonas Brothers come here. Yeah, I saw absolutely, some signatures. Yeah, absolutely. So and I didn't even get Invite, so. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot I was all in their face. <laughs>
there's a lot to go around here. But yeah, it's amazing having that amphitheater so we can work with a lot of people. They feel comfortable coming here, right? Okay. I've got that, again, that great food and off in the corner and they have a good time just like everybody in the community. And it's such a family oriented place it and is. such a wonderful place to live. So I know Kara, you have a listing out here, is that right? I do. Speaking of how many awesome places we're surrounded by, believe it or not, multi-million dollar homes. We have the woods and the East Lake Vistas, which are right maybe five minutes away from here. So I do have a beautiful new listing, 2790 Shadow Crest Courts, four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, over 3,700 square feet with views to die for. It's one of those houses you just walk in and feel like, wow, it's everything that I need. And then you think of, wow, where am I? And it's parks, recreation, places like this. Everything is here that you could possibly want. So you just move right in and you just love where you are. Chula Vista, the one-stop shop in general. East Lake Tavern and Bowl, the one-stop shop. Oh yes, definitely. So you were throwing some verbiage out here. Me and Kara like to say that we're professional bowlers, but we were like, what the heck is a turkey? Yeah, mm. so I'm actually going to turn <laughs> these two into a couple of turkeys. If you don't know what that is, they're the both going to buy, call me a turkey. right, to see if they can bowl three strikes in a row, and then I'm going to buy them a complimentary shot of wild turkey. You two can come up to Tavern and Bowl here in East Lake, and if you bowl three strikes, I'll buy you one too. I don't know about that shot, so I might have to lose on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but challenge accepted anyway. Right. Right. Deal. Game on. Game on. Game on. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Okay, you got more points than I did. I somehow managed to get a strike. So thank you and cheers to you for bringing us to the incredible East Lake Tavern and Bowl. Cheers, Tony. <laughs> Thanks for being here. All right, that's all for Lifestyle, celebrating America's finest city. Thank you so much for tuning in with us every weekend. And don't forget, you can engage in the conversation as well. Would love for you to follow us on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're active on all of it, celebrating the greatest city in the greatest country on the planet. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. We'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.